Welcome to Fit for Life with Karen. I hope you're ready to exercise. Do you have your water with you? I hope you do. And you should always have your weights nearby and your bands because you never know which ones we're going to use, right? Uh, I know, but you might not remember. It's not so easy to remember things like that. Anyway, we're going to talk a, just a little, very little bit about strength training. I like to let you know why we're doing things and why I think they're important and things you should know because it might give you a little more incentive to exercise. It's never too late. When I did my training for what I do, I'm a senior fitness specialist. Uh, years ago uh, in Boston, they brought in a woman that was, I think, 101. They helped her out on the leg press. I said, you're not gonna make that poor little woman do that. They said, this is why she's not in a wheelchair anymore. So um, it's really never too late. Always get what? Your doctor's permission first. I know you would do that. But um, it's never too late to improve your strength or your flexibility or anything, you know, walking, cardiovascular fitness, your heart, your lungs. But strength training is important so that we, we can still do things ourselves. That's what's important. So it's never too late. Strength training will manage your, your weight, if you're a little bit overweight, by increasing your metabolism. So you are burning calories even at rest because muscle burns calories much faster. Just keep that in mind. Strength training can also protect your joints. And I'm not sure I even mentioned that before, but it can. It can kind of support the joint itself, especially the, the leg extension machine uh, that you would do in a health club or, or any kind of a fitness program. Uh, so I don't even know if you've ever heard that before. Maybe some of you have, maybe you are familiar, but it will protect your joints to a certain extent. Um, and, and you have to be, uh, you have to do it more than once a day, right? I mean, once a week, rather. Um, you'll be able to do more easily if you're stronger, right? Okay. It can enhance your quality of life. If you feel kind of sluggish and you don't feel like doing, doing anything anymore, this should give you more energy, but you have to be consistent. Strength training two to three times a week with at least a day in between. Um, some people say two days. It, I suppose it depends on how you feel. You don't want to feel that you're overdoing it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do strength training. Now, the most important thing about strength training is that it gives you independence. I think that's um, seniors' biggest fear is not being able to do for themselves. And there's a, a million things that go, go into that subject that we won't talk about. So let's do all we can to stay strong so we don't even have to discuss what happens after. Uh, you want to delay or prevent your time of disability completely, if that, and it is possible. It is possible, but you do have to work at it. You do have to be consistent, but um, you don't have to spend hours every day, but you have to do st strength training twice a week. Um, if possible, a little stretching, maybe even before you get up in the morning. We're going to do some of that before we start our strength training. Uh, taking a walk in the park, things that you enjoy, uh, just stay active, all right? Even if it's walking around your yard, walking a dog, visiting a neighbor, uh, if something is close by, forget the car and just, just walk and that will strengthen your legs and also strengthen your heart and lungs and burn calories, all right? So let's do just a little warm up before we do our, we're gonna be our doing standing strength exercises today, which I'm not sure we've even done. I mean, it's the same exercises that we do seated, but they're going to look a, bit, a little bit different, and I've added a couple of new ones too. So to warm up, just get a little kind of comfortable and just kick out one and two. Get circulation going in those legs. And you're also strengthening your quadriceps when you do this. Good. And five and six. At least eight but we're doing 10 and here's 12 and 13 and 14. Can you feel it here in your abdomen too? That's great, you're tightening and toning that area too. All right, now you're gonna lift your knee up. So you're still strengthening, but you're moving. Two, just lift the knee up, three and four and five and six and seven, I know you can feel it here. Let's do eight more, nine and 10. 
11, yes, these can be done lying in bed when you wake up in the morning. A couple more. But the first thing I do, the very first thing I do is this one. Heels down. Just make believe this is the mattress so your legs would be up here, wouldn't they? But let's bring those heels down. Just move those feet back and forth. You can do it this way, any way you want. But just move them. I don't know, 10, 20 times, 30 times, whatever, and it just gets that blood circulating. Keep that in mind. So you'll start to wake up when you do this. Instead of just, you know, waking up from a dead sleep and running, you know what happens. We don't want that to happen, all right? Now, with your heels still down uh, on the mattress, we are gonna lift our legs up a little bit, but you can do this by just keeping your legs right down on the mattress. You're gonna point, good. Well, while we're sitting here, let's sit up away from the chair so we'll practice good posture and tighten this, this area too. Your abdominal muscles, your obliques, rectus abdominis, all that good stuff. We have over 600 muscles and I don't know, we're gonna try to exercise all of them today. All right, good. All right, now put one foot down and just circle one. And I know you've probably seen this in every exercise class you've taken. Uh, any senior exercise class anyway. Eight one way, eight the other, good for your ankle, for ankle flexibility, great. All righty, the other side, just circle, circle, three and four, we'll do, let's just go the other way because we have a lot to do today. Just giving you some basic things that you can do on your own. Bring a pad of paper with you when it's time to exercise, and I'll try to slow down so that you can write these things down a little bit. Now to strengthen your abdomen or your core, this whole area, which includes your hips and your lower back, and your again, your abdomen, uh, your sides here, we're gonna just lift up, arms off, and under and over. That's it, that's gonna tighten and tone. I know you can feel that. Uh, yes, you could do this in bed if you lift your legs up off the mattress. Yes, you can. Under and over. Let's try the arms too. And three and four, five and six and seven and eight. All right. Now, you're going to just sit up straight. I'm going to cross that leg over. Uh, look at my posture. It's not very good, so you're going to pull yourself up nice and straight. Now we're just stretching a little bit. Very gently push down on the inside of your knee if you can. Good. Nice and tall. Pull that chin in. I know you forget to hold it after a while, but maybe the more you do it, the more you'll be able to do it. Good. Try the other side. Just gonna stretch out. So today we're concentrating on the upper body. And the next time we do our strength training, you know I do it twice a week if you're watching my shows in succession. Uh, we do strength training twice a week with one day in between. So you're going to push that knee right down. Great. Okay. Grab some water. You notice I do have my water here. Always have water, weights, and bands. And a good attitude, of course. And um, you should feel good that you're doing something good for yourself. That will keep you independent longer, hopefully forever. Very important. Good. Grab your weights. Okay, so here's our standing strength training for the upper body. It's not bodybuilding. We're not looking to have great big muscles. We just want to maintain our strength and not lose any strength, right? So the first thing we're going to do, and we do this in the chair too, elbows into the body, bicep curls, remember those? One. And we normally do at least two sets. Some people like to do three, that's fine. This is three repetitions here. And four. Now the first movement can be pretty, pretty fast, but that second movement should be slow. That's where you gain the strength, right? So let's go all the way up to the shoulders. This time let's go all the way down. How's that? Great. So we'll breathe out, you're not holding your breath, right? And one, two, and three, and four. Try it again, all the way up. One, slowly, you can go, if you wanna go slower, that's okay. Try it again. 
and one, two, and three. Good. Again, all the way up. And one, two, and three, and four. Now every now and then, you should try to test yourself. See if you can do two in one hand. Elbow in and up. Not all the way down, just halfway. Try that. I need this one. This, this arm is weaker, so we're going to do just a few. But normally, you would do two sets of each exercise, right? Good. Up. So try for four at least. If you can do eight or ten, go right ahead. Good. I'm going to switch over to the other side. This is my stronger hand, so I, it's much easier to do. Bring that elbow in. Breathe out as you... And just halfway and up and slowly elbow in and up again for stability right slowly down and breathe out normally you would do eight of those right but today we're just going to go all the way down breathe out as you bring it all the way up and slowly down we'll just do four of these again all the way up. So you breathe out on exertion, which is usually that first movement. Up. And then slowly down, elbow into your body, and all the way up. And slowly down. So those are called what? Bicep curls. Keep that in mind. All right, very gently now, you're gonna bend those knees first and just do a little bit of an easy swing. Don't go crazy. Keep the, keep the weights low just to get a little stretch in there. Good. All right, now we want to do something for the triceps. We know where the biceps are, right? Biceps, triceps. So you're going to lift those weights up. Now make sure there's not a window behind you or a glass door or anything. And I'm going to stand sideways so you can see me. I'm going to bend both knees back and slowly up. Try it again. And one, two, three, and four. Three. And one, two. Try to keep that chin, chin pulled back a little bit. Back. And slowly up. I can feel this one. Back again. And slowly up. And back again. I think six is coming up. I hope so. <laughs> this one is, um, I don't know, a little different. You're not used to doing it like this. Uh, if you have high blood pressure, problems with high blood pressure, I probably wouldn't do anything above chest level. Just check with your doctor. I'm sure it's probably okay in most cases, but it doesn't help to ask, does it? It doesn't hurt to ask. All right, now, I'd like you to put one foot forward, all right, and then bring those arms forward. Keep your back straight. So I'm not, I don't want you to round over. Keep the back straight in, in one piece and just lift out to the front. One, and slowly back. You're going to feel this one. And up to the front, and slowly back. Now, if you can only do this, that's fine. So I want, you to, I want you to challenge yourself a little bit, but we're just starting out, and I just want to make sure that you, you're not overdoing it. So lift up and slowly back on that second movement, right? Try it again. Up and slowly back. Good. Again, bring those arms up and slow. I feel like I'm tightening everything when I do this because I don't have the chair for support, do I? Bring those arms up and slowly down. Try it again. Breathing out, up, and slowly down. Good. Try it again. Up. I think I lost count again. Let's do another one. and slowly back. Okay, let's put the weights down. I hope you have a place to do that, just for a minute or two. <clears throat> Good. Now, without the weights, 
I want you to do a nice easy twist. Now you can touch, touch the body here, back where your kidneys are. We're waking up the kidneys, so to speak. Just tapping gently, tapping gently, good. Great. All right, that's easy enough. Bring those arms up, relax those arms a little bit, and then down and back. Bend your knees, and then we'll go up again, good. And down and back. You can do it really slow if you want to. Just doing kind of an, a body waker up or a, a full body stretch here. And down. I don't have a name for this. Maybe one of you should name it. Up and down is too simple, right? And back. This is very good to do for a warm up, but we're just loosening up a little bit today. Okay. All righty. Let's do one more stretch, though. Clasp your hands together. This is an easy one. Again, most of this can be done seated but I thought we should try standing because a lot of folks do their strength training standing up and I think you've probably done it in classes and so forth. So let's turn the hands over and just straight out with your arms. Oh, that's great. And up, very gently go up. Open your feet a little bit for stability to keep your balance. We're just gonna turn the body a little bit, great. And then to the other side. So we're doing strength training and some stretching. And we did our warm up to start, which is good. If, I hope you, some of you take a walk before you watch the show, just to get warmed up, loosened up. Wonderful. Uh, now I'd like to do a stretch for the side of the body. So all you're going to do is open those feet a little bit. And you're gonna slide this hand down and bring this elbow up. It's a good side stretch here. It flattens all of this out nice and smooth, good. As you come up, you're gonna breathe up through the nose and exhale through the mouth, great. And all of this disappears, all this stuff in here. So you're gonna breathe up through the nose as you come up and exhale as you reach down. This is a good one, I like this one. All right, breathing up as you change and exhaling as you go down and lifting that opposite elbow right up to the ceiling. If it makes you dizzy, don't do it. And then we'll come back up and reaching down. Great. You're gonna sleep good tonight, folks. One more time now, I like this one. And I haven't seen much of this particular exercise. Great. All right. Now all I want you to do is just come forward, drop those arms down. You can keep your head up and let your body just kind of stretch itself out. Let those arms come down. You can feel a stretch on the back of your legs here. Good. And then we will come back up. I want you to grab those weights again going to do something called upright rowing. And this is this can be done seated also. And if we were seated, they would be in our lap, right? And all you're gonna do is bring those arms up straight. So there's kind of a straight line from elbow to elbow. And then down slowly. That was too fast. Slowly. So up fast and one, two, three, and four. Try it again. Up and one, two, three, four. How does it feel? Breathing out and slowly down. I kind of like this one. This isn't too bad, right? Breathing out. And remember, you're going to do eight or 10 of these. So if you're doing it on your own, try to remember to count up and slowly down. The slower you go, the better. And I'm tightening my abdomen as I do this, so that's great. It's, it's just kind of an added benefit, right? Try it again. And slowly down. Wear comfortable clothes when you exercise. Not binding clothes. It's nice that they're stretchy. And that's, that's enough of that, I think, for now. So just let those weights hang right down here by your sides, all right? And again, just a little bit of a twist. 
good. All right. Bring those arms up, elbows right into your sides here. Well, let's do a little bit for the wrist, strengthen the wrist and the hands by just moving those weights back and forth. Not too bad, kind of easy to do. You could do this while you're watching television, right? <laughs> All right, good, back and forth. Yeah, great. How does that feel? That part's easy. This is an easy one. All right, let's do some of this. Nice and easy, watch your chin. Good. How does that feel? This, this one's tough, so we know it's doing some good, right? Then we'll go back. This is called the paddle wheel. Nice and easy. I usually end with this one, but we have just a little bit more to do. Good. Okay. Let's put the weights up here if you can. If you don't have shoulder problems or any soreness up there, you can still hold on to them, but just to, just to rest a little bit. Put those weights on your shoulder. Good. And we're going to do some punching in a minute. Drop your chin right down to relax the back of your neck. Bend your knees a few times. Good. Great. Up and down. Great. Now the next time we do strength training, as I said, we will be mostly working on the lower body, but I didn't want to do them both in half an hour, and then we'd have to rush, and I didn't want to do that. So, all right, are you ready for the punching? All right. One foot in front. Bring the weights up, horizontal, and just punch. One. Two. Keep that back straight. Three. And four and five, and six, this one's nice, I like this one, seven, and eight, let's do more, nine, 10, 11, and 12. What do you think? Do you think that's easy? Not too bad, no. Let's bring those weights together, and for the last one, we're gonna do this one again, out to the side and bring those weights together, good. And out, and bring them together. Out again, out fast, back slow. Good, again, breathing out. We just don't want you to hold your breath, that's all. Especially when you're stretching, things like that. But some people do it with strength training. We'll say this is five, could be six, and six, great, and seven, wow, and back. Can you do one more? Good for you, because I can't. All right, folks, relax now. Put the weights down, grab your chairs, take a drink. You've had a good workout today but it's going to make you stronger. As Soon as the weather gets better, we'll be able to walk some more. Remember what I said, put on that television or some music and just, just dance, just move, kick your feet out. It's always better to move in most, in most cases. So we're gonna sit down now and just relax. Ah, good, a little bit of a meditation. Just remember you did something good for yourself, and I'll probably say that a thousand times more, but, but you, you do, you have to keep your confidence up. You have to keep up that um, incentive to stay active, to stay moving, to stay driving and, and doing things for yourself and for others too. Um, I don't know about you, I, I do a little volunteer work, which I find very satisfying. There's a need for it everywhere, and it's nice to get out, so um, keep that in mind. So let's take one more breath together, all the way up through the nose. One more yoga breath, anyway. Holding that breath and exhale. Let your chin drop right down, good. Now while you're down here, just kind of do the ear drop. Just move your head from side to side. It's, it's a really relaxed feeling, I think, for the neck and the upper back a little bit. Great. I'm going to bring my head back up, open the eyes just a little bit. Let's touch the back of our neck. 
sit up straight and just bring those elbows back. Let's open up the chest here, stretch the upper back and the shoulders a little bit, but mostly opening up the chest area, good. And come forward as you bring your elbows. They don't have to touch, just bring them in. Good. And then sit up straight and bring those elbows back, way back. You're gonna feel it a little bit. It's uh, good for posture, it flattens out that upper back for sure. We're gonna do a little bit of a twist. Great. Back and forth. You've had a good workout today. Easy stuff. Now let's come back to center and then just drop the elbow to the side. Feel a nice stretch on your side. Good. And back. And back. Couple more. Wonderful. And seven. And I think I'd like to do one more stretch for us. Let's do the rotation, spinal rotation. How will we do that? Just lift the arms up. We'll do it the easy way today. And all you're gonna do is just turn and turn and turn. You can make a fist if you want, good. And then we'll go back to the other side, nice and easy, good. And we'll go back again. Take this hand, cross it over, lift this arm up, and we're gonna bend and reach. Good, switch over, bend and reach. You did a great job, thanks for joining me today. And hopefully we'll see you for the next show, which is gonna be very soon. Uh, again, thanks for joining us. Stay active and re remember, we don't stop playing because we grow old, we grow old because we stop playing. Keep that in mind, bye for now.